Man, what's happening, everybody? It's your boy Smitty, man, and uh, I just got done watching uh, Pretty Boy Fredo, man. He's a YouTuber, man. Well, very successful, and uh, he told uh, a story that um, a lot of people can't. Uh, well, a lot of people can relate to, uh, especially me. Um, I didn't go as far as going to a foster home where my mom and my dad just giving me away. But if you haven't uh, seen that video, man, um, I'm going to link his uh, uh, YouTube page in the description. Pretty Boy Fredo, man, I respect you, man. You deserve to be where you're at, man. You keep growing, keep grinding, uh, and you you gonna be a great, successful father, man. Uh, man, respect to you and whatnot. And you know what made me do this video was because, man, I can. As he's telling that story, I'm looking at my life and looking at my life, and I'm like, man, that kind of uh bring back memory for me. You know what I mean? Bring back memories. Bring back memories, man. Of uh, you know, me, my. Me not knowing my dad uh, at a young age, you know, and uh, me asking my mom, you know, uh, you know, where my dad at, man. You know, I just, you know, at times when you are a young child like that, a young man, a young man needs his father in his life. There's certain things that a woman cannot do. I don't care how you put it. There's certain things that a mother a woman just cannot do for a boy um growing up you know um you know there's a lot of things and it was hard for me uh not knowing my dad you know i'm going to sporting events and knowing my mom and then i see other dads on the sideline and i'm looking like man you know where my dad at man where my dad at? But my mom, she was always there. She was always there. She was always the one screaming. I could always hear her voice screaming. If y'all didn't know me, I played soccer. Um, and I was a forward. And I was on a traveling team, all-star team. I was the shit in soccer. And... Um, at four or five years old, my mom screaming. She's screaming. God, she's screaming. And, and you know, I can hear her, man. And, you know, and that made me feel like, you know, damn, that sound like my mom and dad, you know, and, um, uh, that made me proud of myself right there. But as, as I got older, I was like, man, I need, Where's my dad at? You know, when, and like, when you go through certain things in life, females, uh, 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 puberty, you know, those things in life, your father is supposed to be there with your son and getting you through, sorry, it's hot, getting you through those hard times getting disciplined getting molded into a young man um you know hearing that voice when you hear a man's voice at a young age as a boy it makes you straighten up and it makes you think and it makes you learn um i i i didn't get that but my mom was always there she was always there to make sure that your boy did right. That your boy acted right. That's my, I got my ass whooped multiple times. So how I see these kids today not getting their ass whooped and not getting them through the hard time and discipline and saying, no, go in the corner. This. No, there's certain times that you got to beat that ass. And I'm thankful. I'm not talking about beat your child and leave bruises and whatnot you beat them to teach them don't beat your child just to beat them 
And that's what my mother did not do. She did it to teach, you know, and not knowing my dad and whatnot. And I can remember going to sleep, crying, just, just crying. Man, I just went on my dad. Why me? Why me, man? I got my dad, man. I got my dad. I ain't got my dad, man. You know, just why me, man? Me and my brother, man. You know, my brother, uh, um, he, you know, his dad wasn't around like that. But he seen him, he seen him from time to time, but... You know, going through high school, going through high school was a hard time of not having your father in your life. Um, high school is a time that you look out for your dad to push you in certain areas. I was in football. My mom couldn't be there at every football game like that. You know, she was a working hard lady to support me and my brother. So, she couldn't always be there, man. You know, man, she worked seven to seven. She was an RN nurse, registered nurse, you know what that means. She's registered nurse, and she busted her balls, man. You know, sorry for my French, but she busted her behind just to make sure we had food on the table, just to make sure that we were, that, you know, we had clothes, had the latest things. You know, when summertime came around, man, she was always buying us stuff, you know. You know, and man, she was always there. She was always there to help us and whatnot. And this dude got his light just all my dang face, man. So, she was always there to help us and get us what we needed and push us through. You know, and discipline us. She, that was the main thing that I loved about my mom. She disciplined us. She disciplined us. She disciplined us. It was no question. She wasn't the strictest mom and dad, no, mom, well, mom and dad, yes, she wasn't the strictest person, but she made you understand, when she gave you that eye, when she beat your ass, she knew, you knew that you messed up, you know, I'm begging for my mother, and I appreciate it, what she done, you know, so, when Father's Day comes around, and it's come around a couple of days, I say Mother Father's Day, because my mother was my father. And I know a lot of people can relate to that. And I know a lot of people work hard to, to know that if my mother raised two, three, four, five kids in the house and she busted bows, I know I can make it out here. I know I can do it out here. Should be no excuse. It should be no uh, blaming on somebody else because your life ain't great right now. No. Your mother fed you. She clothed you. She put a roof over your head. Once you turn 18, all that, she taught you all that. She taught you for a reason. So when you got in this real life, you knew what to do and you knew where to take your life. You knew where to go. So all the people out there, man, single parents, mom and dad, single parents, I salute you. And um, I had to do a video like this, man, because, you know, Pretty Boy Fredo, man, that touched me right there, man. That touched me right there, you know, when brought a tear to my eye, how he was telling that story. I was like, man, I feel you, bro. I wanted to go in there and get the man a hug, man, because man was crying. He was, you mean, he, you knew that he meant it. He came from the heart. It came from the heart on how he was explaining it. Now you people wonder why some people grind so hard, why people push so hard, why people don't settle. I don't settle. I don't settle. I want to get to the top no matter what. I want to make sure me and my wife get to the top no matter what. Sacrifice and keeping faith. I don't need no friends. I got God and my wife and my family. In that order. That's all I need. So I'm hoping that, 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 that this video right here really 
touch somebody and really uh, um, help somebody. Uh, you know, I'm going to uh, link Pretty War Fredo's page in here. Uh, leave a comment on his video. Tell him that I sent you there. Um, and, um, and I'm going to link the video as well. So, man. For all my single mothers out there, I salute you. I respect you. Keep doing what you're doing and keep grinding and keep bringing all your children up to the highest they can be. To all my single fathers out there, man, I damn should respect y'all. Because y'all doing it as well, man. Keep bringing your children up. Keep disciplining them and keep doing what you got to do. On that, it's your boy Smitty. It's your boy Smith. I'm out of here, man. Peace.